What's up guys and welcome back to another video here on Simple Saber Metrics. Today's video is a special one. It's one I've been thinking about doing for a very long time, and something this channel has never seen before. In this episode we will be focusing on workload management. What we can do now with the technology that we have available to help guys get better and stay healthy while doing it. In order to do that, we will be welcoming our very first guest on the channel, Casey Mulholland from Kinetic Pro Performance. He's going to teach you everything you need to know about this topic, so stay tuned. Before we jump into it, welcome back to another video, guys. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. So before we jump into it, why bring on guests? To me, it's pretty simple. Simple Sabermetrics is a place where we talk about player development, analytics, and tons of other stuff. My goal for this channel is to share my experience and what I've learned throughout my career with all of you. That's great, and trust me, there will be more of that in the future. But I also want to bring together people I have met along the way within my network to help spread even more knowledge in areas that I may not know a ton on yet. By bringing both of these areas together, I'm able to continue to give all of you the best possible information I can to allow you to find new resources to learn and grow on your own. Throughout this style of video, I'm going to let the experts do most of the talking, but to guide them towards the things I'd like to see covered, I'm going to ask our guests the same four questions. Those questions are, how did you get to where you are today? What is your mission? How has technology played a role in your career? then I will allow them to let you know where you can go to find out more about them and learn more on your own. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over the mic to Casey Mulholland from Kinetic Pro Performance. So I'll start up with me. I grew up in Bradenton, Florida. I went to IMG Academy. I was a pretty highly touted pitcher for my senior year in 2010 and was about six days away from the draft when I had Tommy John surgery. So associate top five round draft pick, ended up missing that by about 60 days of Tommy John. I uh, had surgery by Dr. James Andrews. Dr. Andrews and I became known on a first name basis, not by choice. And really to where I am today, that moment was definitely the, the point at which I started to look into and start to try to figure out you know, what does it mean to stay healthy? Just learning about the arm and really start asking a lot of really good questions at that age to try to start pushing myself to educate further. As my career progressed, I'd gone to Ole Miss, State College of Florida, University of South Florida in Tampa, and all the while still trying to figure out how to stay healthy, trying to grow. I was lucky enough to get drafted by the Dodgers, got a shot to play pro ball, spent a little bit of time with them, and then I had rotator cuff surgery. So, you know, all along the while, I heard people talk about you know, you need to do your bands and, and have good shoulder strength. You need to you know, maintain long toss. You need to clean up your mechanics. And so I hear about all these different things, but I always felt there was a missing piece. So when I got done playing, I went and started searching out new information to find that missing link, that thing that I felt I never found in my playing career to help guys not go through what I went through. The next question I asked Casey was, what is your mission? Turns out at IMG Academy, Modus Global actually had their biomechanics lab. So in 2013, I was one of the first ones to go through their overall assessment in their lab. And I'd become friends with Ben Hansen, who was their CTO at the time. So flash forward then to 2016, when I got released by the Dodgers, I came back, I was rehabbing my shoulder, um, and I was just casually stopping by their lab and asking questions, continuing to seek out that information, continue to find answers. Ben pointed me in the direction of workload management and uh, I realized that that was the missing piece. That was a link that I've been looking for for so long that I could hand down to players. From there, I needed to grow a platform and get that information out. And I uh, started off with one player, turned into two players, turned into three players. I started training guys, uh, groups of five, 10, 15, 20. And then we looked up, we had a full business running in Tampa, Florida, which is now Kinetic Pro. We opened our doors to our facility currently in 2018 and we've been growing ever since, spreading the message of workload management, building our own custom programs and workload you know, structure. Now Casey dives into what workload management is and what that phrase really means to him. We have this philosophy called T3 here, and it's a triangular approach to arm health. So a lot of times, like I said before, you know, we look at strength and mechanics as the two pinnacles of arm health. But we miss workload management. We haven't really looked there mostly because we haven't had the objective information to actually point us in that direction to say that this is truly what's happening. What we see according to research is that 
only about 57% of pitches, which we call pitch counts in game actually are counted in pitch counts. So when we think about you know, in between innings pitches or bullpen pitches before the game, we realize that only 57% of pitches in a game day are pitch counts. So when we start factoring in plyo care throws and long toss, balls we throw back to the bucket during BP in previous days, games, we start to realize that there's a lot of accumulated stress that we don't account for. So for us, we put workload management first and foremost in our business to providing our athletes insights, how to use the modus sleeve to collect that information, to collect that overall stress, and then provide insights back on what the player should be doing the following days in order to actually mitigate fatigue and potentially mitigate injury risk. And then I wanted to hear more about how technology played a role in his career. Yeah, so the modus sleeve has, has been the one thing that we've gone to. You know, it takes the guesswork out for us. We built our own custom systems around the modus sleeve to actually take the data and make it more applicable on game day. What that means is that we've taken daily workload values and created our own custom dynamic throwing programs that basically model for the athlete throwing progression for four months. We see that that's a typical time frame for the off season. And then in season, we can also plan out how that athlete needs to progress or maintain their throwing during that time. So we want to make this process as simple as possible. And that's been one of the big issues with workload management is that a lot of people take the data and don't know what to do with it. So we've tried to make that to the field something that we can apply to bring workloads to the masses. And finally, I asked him where people can find out more about him and also learn more about workload management. One of the big things that we recognized was that the education surrounding the modus sleeve and just workload management in general, it just wasn't out there. So luckily for me, like I said, I had contacts with Ben Hansen and the modus team from an earlier age. So when we started Kinetic Pro, one of the things we wanted to do was get content out there to explain to people how to actually use this, how to actually understand this. Our Connect series is an ever-growing educational platform. It's a yearly subscription model where we basically continue to launch new modules. One of those modules, the first one we opened up with, of course, was workload management. It was powered by Modus. They actually sponsored us for that. So um, we're able to go in. We've actually explained from front to back how you can understand the data that comes with the Modus sleeve, how to understand the use of the Modus sleeve. Then lastly, we provide you our dynamic throwing program, a template you can use to actually take this information and apply it on the day-to-day comes in an Excel spreadsheet, so it's very user-friendly on your computer, anybody's computer, as long as you have Excel, and we can use that day-to-day to actually model and plan and progress our athletes. Now I'm just going to recap some of my favorite points from this episode. Casey talks a lot about something that is relatively new to this industry, and how his past has helped bring him to a point where he wants to continue to ask more questions to find out more. His goal is to make systems, utilizing today's latest technology and transform it into a way that is easy to understand for the end user. Or in his words, to keep it simple. This is another great example of how technology can really help improve a player's career. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to Casey. He was a great guest and also a great friend of mine. If you'd like to check out any of his stuff, links as always will be down below. If you enjoyed the format of today's video and you'd like me to bring on more guests in the future, let me know in the comments section. And lastly, if you're interested in picking up the Connect module for yourself, you can use promo code SIMPLE for 20% off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more Simple Saber metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support and I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.